Okay, and we're live. Um, if uh, whoever's on, if you could just let me know if you can hear me okay before before I dive into it, that'd be great. It's always hit and miss with these things. Um, so I'll just wait for somebody to write into the comments um, first, and then we'll then we'll get going. Let me just check. All good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, okay, so um, I know a lot of people have been uh, anticipating this, uh, which is great to see. Um, it's something that we've been working on for the past, I'd say, nearly seven or eight months now. It's taken a lot of different forms over that time, but finally we're ready to show uh, show people what we have. Um, it is still a work in progress, but we have released um, about 10, 15 accounts to our pro users, and we will be releasing another 50 accounts um, over the next two months. Um, anybody on today's call, we'll give you further information at the end on that and go through that. Um, but basically, just to give you a, a bit of a background information on it, um, when we when the Virtual Tour Sales Accelerator program started out, it was originally a course. And soon after that, we had the idea of switching to more of an agency approach. And this was down to, I suppose, the kind of recommendations that we got, but also the results that we found was that it was much better when we were working hand in hand with people and showing them how to put these strategies in place. And what we've been doing over the past, say, year since since we started this, um, is we've been using a lot of, I suppose, other systems and platforms to help people do that. And the issue with that is, and with all, I suppose, areas of sales and marketing is, is that there comes a time where you have to be able to connect all of those together. And that's one of the issues that we found and that we saw and that we saw kind of a gap for that. So I'm just going to share my screen with you and quickly go through some of the areas of it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to... Um, we're just going to go through some of the workflows in it. There's a lot in it. So we're, we'll probably do a, a one of these a week for the next while. Um, and we do have a um, support site coming with uh, tutorials and documentation for the platform that people can view probably next week to see exactly what's involved. So let me just um, share my screen with you. Okay, so so in essence, what what the uh, Virtual Tour Sales Pro platform is is it's a it's a CRM that's hooked up to email marketing, sales funnels, and marketing automation. Um, and the the issue with this in general is is that I know, and most people would know if they have any, I suppose, background in marketing, and even if you if you're running a business, which most of us are here, you're going to have some some touch points with all of these platforms and software, and it's a bit of a minefield deciding on which one to choose. Um, and and as you'll find out, and most people will find out, is that as your business grows, these subscription cross costs grow with this. And originally, when we started looking at this platform, it wasn't for the wider virtual tour community. It was for our own business because our subscription costs were growing quite exponentially month on month in order for us to be able to run our business without having to do all the donkey work on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and that is one of the big biggest issues with I suppose, all of these platforms. So these are a lot of the ones that we were using for, say, email marketing. We we're using, say, for um, for funnel builders, for our CRMs, and then other ones for, say, even for taking payments. Um, and what we found was, and most people find, is that there is high subscription costs with this. But then the worst thing of all is that you're expected to build out everything yourself from say your offers to the landing pages to the sales funnels and then and then and then on top of that is usually with the most commonly known ones you then have to connect that to an external CRM or an external email system and it's a, it's a bit of a minefield trying to keep on top of all of that and that was one of the main purposes why we tried to build it ourselves and then and then we realized that our customers and our clients are having the same issues with that not just being able to connect it because most of us here are smaller business owners we don't have the backing of i suppose uh, a large team or um I suppose money to invest in infrastructure so being able to have all of this under one roof and pre-built for you is, is is an opportunity that we saw so if I just go through this, um, so basically what we, we put together was was is is everything that we just were trying to combat, which is 
uh, CRM, sales, sales funnels, and marketing automation system that is hooked up to your business and has everything that you already need to plug in. So it's not a case of having to build out everything. It's a case of something you could hook up to and get up and running within 24 hours, whether it's in an industry or a niche market that you're already working on and you want to leverage your existing content or a new opportunity that you've spot and you want to go into that. So there's two, two, two areas to this that we are looking at at the moment. And that is from a standalone platform that people that existing and bigger businesses who have say um who have uh, an existing website that is performing well has has uh, authority uh, on the search engines that they don't want to disrupt that that they can simply plug this system into that and the other one is is for newer businesses where they can have everything in-house where basically your website would, would be part of this offer and um, and then you have everything and you don't need to connect all of these other platforms as it grows you can simply just add on and and i suppose use the features as your business grows past that so um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, make sure to write them in the, the in the comment section. Once I, I go through the platform in, in, a, in another minute or two now, and I suppose they'll probably start flying in then. But um, so so with the platform itself, it's built to be I suppose, a quick and easy and a seamless process from just signing up, putting in your, your business information that will pre-populate to all of the sales funnels, the calendar system, the, the, the landing pages to the, C, to the CRM. Then you can simply pick any industry that you want to focus on or you're already working in and then add in your own content so that is say your own virtual experience content within that system and that's kind of the only thing that needs to be added in so um i know for people who are already on our pro program and also part of rce they've seen a lot of our i suppose landing pages that we've been doing but we've been working quite heavily over the past couple of months designing new landing pages and um unique content in terms of that actually has i suppose more kind of a seo seo purpose behind it and um, we're also looking at spin tax technology so that you can so that every single user will have um uh unique content so it's not being used um per site basically so so let me just let's 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 dive straight into the to the platform i suppose that's probably the best thing to do so so with this then it's it's a, it's a it's a simple and seamless sign up process so let me just see i suppose i need to log out first So we're going to have a couple of different um, pricing, um, different different um, models, and um, there'll be one of them will be specifically for people who've come through our own um, program initially, and then there'll be ones for starter businesses, and then for more experienced businesses that just want to use this as an add-on to their sales and marketing stack. So I'm just going to so it's simply you you go in, you pick a, a, a title for it. So let's just say um, it's new, and then the URL will be say test new so what you can actually do is is we have we you can actually hook this up to your own domain name as well we've actually we've tested this as i said with about 15 accounts and just this week we've actually hooked this up so people who are don't want to start with a new um a new a new platform i mean people who don't want to actually want to want to use this alongside their site they can just simply connect a subdomain to this so let's say username let's see Okay. So once once this setup is complete, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes because there is a lot there is a lot running in the background. Um, but it'll it'll have automatically ask access to all of these pre-made uh, funnels, templates, and uh, the CRM system. Um, and then it's a case of just putting in your own business information so they populate to all areas of the site. So we have all of that set up. So like like when you when you're using other i suppose templates or funnel builders you usually have to go through it manually and put in all of the areas that you want to, in terms of your email in terms of i suppose reply to address and um, in terms of contact information we just have one area that you then pre-populates to all of the other areas so just for just for I suppose speed purposes i'll just go to one we have ready already um. So once it's set up, then is you'll come to your dashboard, and within the dashboard, um, there's a couple of things that I suppose a couple of ways that's broken down. It's broken down into CRM, 
um, CRM tools, marketing tools, and sales tools. So another thing that that we found that really bothered us when when our business started to started to really grow a lot more than at the beginning was that it was very hard to get a higher level overview of everything that was going on within the business. If we didn't know how how campaigns w- were really performing because we had uh, we had results for say an email campaign, but then we had results for our sales funnels, and then we had other results for other areas of our business, such as say social media or some of our other say advertising campaigns. So one area that we really wanted to put a focus on was that people have a higher level overview of everything that's going on in their business. So within this, that's one of the first things that you'd see on the left. You'll see, say, platform reports and, ma- and marketing reports. So we do have something built in here. So if you don't want to connect it up to your, to your Google Analytics, we do have one that will automatically pre-populate to this and will give you results on a daily basis. So all of the videos that we have here gives an overview of all of the tools within the platform. And also what we've been doing while we've been building out this platform is we've been building out a support portal. And the main reason why we wanted to build out the support portal is because we are transitioning to a software company as such. And with that, there is going to be a certain level of support that we we didn't have in the past. So in order to be able to support people when they come on board, we will be giving away uh, quite long-term free free trials for the first couple of months so we can determine that level of support. But in the meantime, we've been building out this, so, so which is a ticketing system and also made up of, say, tutorials and documentation to help people use tools and get that integrated into their business. We will be doing a lot of um, a lot of tutorials on a weekly basis, also, and probably have a new group for new members of this platform. But if I just go, so let me see here. So also as well, actually, another thing is is is, is we wanted we wanted this to be to very much be connected to our main program, the Virtual Tour Sales Accelerator. So within within this, you'll see how how we've actually taken our concepts and strategies from that program and put it into a software package that automates a lot of those strategies. And that's in terms of the sales process, in terms of moving customers through the sales pipeline in 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 an efficient and a targeted manner that you know is going to get better end results. So people can log in directly through this and we will have, I suppose, some sort of a limited access for people who are not part of this program so they can can, use this new platform in, in, in the best way possible. So we've also also for for actually a lot of the pro mem- members we have actually uh, set up a new platform also just to accommodate this where we switched again so people will be getting more information on that also within the coming days. And um, so one of the one of the things I said was that we wanted to get a higher level overview of the reports. So that that is in terms of say uh, total views by the views by the voice by traffic source and. Um, a lot of the things basically that that are very important if you want to grow your business and want to actually understand, I suppose, what is performing well. Then if we dive into a bit further is the marketing reports gives an overview of all of the tools that are within this platform from, say, new contacts to, say, your emails to your sales funnels to broadcasts to forms to your pipelines. So basically what this is doing, it'll give you an overview of everything that is working and you can really dig, dig, dig deep into this um, to see to see specific analytics depending on uh, industry, depending on region, depending on any, tor- any type, any lead type, basically. So it'll also tell you top top countries, top lead sources, so what pages are giving you the most lead sources. And Steve says, someone has been very busy. I was wondering why I've been quiet. Yeah, we've been keeping the head down for the past <laughs> the past while. Um, hopefully now people understand a bit more. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but... Uh, hopefully it's something that will bring value to the community. Um, so I think the best thing to do at the moment now is to actually let's go through a customer journey. Let us let me show you, I suppose, how this looks like for, for yourself on your end and also for your customer's end. And that's probably, that's probably the best way for people to be able to see this because there is an awful lot within this. And really the best way for us to show you how all of this fits together and seamlessly integrates with your business is to start over the next couple of weeks going through some of the specific workflows. So if I go into landing pages here, for example, um, what we'll do is we'll just click into one of these. So these are all of the new landing pages that, that automatically get pre-populated to the accounts once they're set up. And um, again, we have spent a lot of times working on these. Um, let's see. Let me just open up a few here so you can see them. Let's see, see. Let's 
Apologies for the slow connection. No, it's, not, it's actually faster than I thought. So here are some of the new landing pages that we've been working on. As you can see, they're, they're, they're a lot more modern than what we have before. And again, we have put a lot of work into these in terms of content. So every page is unique in terms of the text that they have. Um, and also we've added in some cool features in terms of say, depending on what platform that you're using, for example, and um, we can put in uh, we can put in, say, uh, the background to be, say, whether it's Matterport, whether it's MetaReal, Cloud Panel, it'll go through um, the features that are available for your platform. So basically just a, to give your customers a higher level of understanding than they would have um, with, I suppose, the normal process. Um, so just scroll down further here. Again, all of these are hooked up to the calendar, um, which, is, which is automatically built into this. And also then, so, so all of these pages are a similar kind of design. Um, um, that you have access to instantly. And um, we have been doing some tests with some people where they've actually used these pages um, and just built the website around this. And um, so really all you need on top of that is a home page and a belt page and a contact page. And that isn't the works for this for, for I suppose newer people in the industry that want to that want to get up and running on this platform as opposed to going to suppose through a web design company or through through that headache and heartache that that is involved with all of that. Um, let's see the museum one. Again, same thing as again. We have some of the, I suppose, the concepts in here, the statistics. Again, this just gives an overview um, of the features of the tour. And this automatically plays, or we can have it that you can use it on your own. So in industrial and e-learning solutions. Again, virtual tour slots in here. So one of the cool things also that we've done with this is that um, there is a certain level of understanding when it comes to editing uh, web pages, even if you're using templates like this. So what we really wanted to do was make it a seamless process. So we have a built-in live editor feature in here. So basically now this page can be edited anywhere without being in a visual build, visual builder mode. So you can simply uh, type anywhere, click anywhere, and type in to change the text. We are working on multilingual options also, and um, that probably will be released a couple of months down the line, but not for now. Um, but again, this this thing, this thing is, I suppose, this thing has been a godsend for the people that we've that we've showed it to so far because even with our previous uh, stack that we were offering landing pages, um, it was just it was a bit slower, slow on slow on the front end. Um, you might run into the problems if your internet connection wasn't good. Um, it can be very it can be very, I suppose, tedious to be able to change it and to have to reload it. Whereas this is very quick and very seamless. And we just simply publish and then the changes are, are instantly published. And now we're now we're out of live editor. So let's go back to this and let's show you um, how this is hooked up. So so another thing another thing that we or what see Anastasia, how does one make it unique and different ourselves? So um, everything everything is customizable, Anastasia. So so within the within the live editor, you can change any of the text. So we've done that. We pick kind of neutral colors that we think kind of stand out and kind of align with what we're going for. Um, but really, the, we do have we do have a visual builder option as well within here for people who want to really dive into the nitty gritty of the design and change the look and layout of that. So now within this, we're in the visual builder mode. And now we can, I suppose, add in add in new new uh, templates. We can add in new modules. There's, it's really unlimited in terms of what you want to add to this. It's much more comprehensive than a lot of the other builders that we would have used with our clients in the past. So here, say, we have all of these options that we can add in, say, call to action, map, countdown, timer, um, forms, audio. We can also we also have templates in here. Say these are just some of the generic ones we have. We also have say saved ones. Um, we also have say some cloud templates, for example. There's so it's, it's virtually unlimited in terms of what what you want to do. And then it's simply just a drag and drop option. Say a button group. Let's add that in here. And then and then we can simply edit. So it is very it is very customizable in terms of uh, in terms of what you want to do. But um, the real purpose of this for us was. Um, was to create something that was quick, easily, and seamless to get up and running that people wouldn't have to be pulling their hair out to align this with their business. So they are all very, they're, they're all white labeled. Um, theoretically, all you have to do is, is, um, is put in is 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 double click on this and put in your email uh, and, and change this information and this is automatically be ready for you to go. 
So now let's now let's test the um, the ebook functionality. So with this, what we've done is we've been creating some ebooks, uh, virtual tour ebooks over the past while. And what 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 we'd be doing with this platform is people will have access to the white labeled ebooks that they can simply add their branding to. Um, and with this with these ebooks then as well, it's also hooked up to say there's a calendar system hooked up to this. Um, which is which is very important because um, I I would have been I would have actively promoted Calendly within the virtual tour sales accelerator program and and to people because it's a very quick easy and seamless thing to use. But again, one of the problems with Calendly is it's a standalone solution. If you want to connect it to something else, it has to be done through an API like or or with Zapier, and it doesn't really. It is kind of a standalone thing that is in your that that is that is that is there in your business. It's not connected to CRM or it's not connected to anything besides Zoom and your calendar. So what we've done is actually we have a built-in solution that's going to be that's going to be nearly identical to Calendly. And with that, we can connect it to Zoom, we can connect it to Google Calendar, but also then all of the contacts will be automatically synced to the CRM and they can automatically start the sales funnels that we have built in the back end. So let's go, let me let, let me let's start to go through that now but um just pretending that i'm say a real estate customer and i've come to this page and, and 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 let's go through that process so with the landing pages it's important to remember as well as that it, this could be part of your of your website or it could be just part of your your sales and marketing strategy they could be used in your advertising campaigns they could be used say in your direct messaging strategies your linkedin linkedin automation and um, or your facebook posts basically and um, so the whole idea is, is that when it comes to this page is that you need to have some sort of a lead magnet a lead magnet that 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 offers them value that that because a lot of times people won't, won't put their hand up and contact you directly but they might be curious to find out more information and really the job of a marketer is and a good website is to have good good quality call to actions that brings people into your into your pipeline but then also nurtures them in the in the in the back end so let's just click on this and let's say, say download now Okay, so now I can really start to show you where the magic happens because let's go back to the, this now. So now, now I as a customer have requested the ebook. So if I go back to say the CRM and contacts, you'll see that I should be automatically added to this as as a lead. So you'll see here that that my name is in here as a lead. So if I click into this. You'll see here that I that, I've, that I've automatically been tagged as an uh, that I that I um, requested the ebook, and some of the some of the information will be will be in here. But again, there's not too much more information because all I've done as a customer so far is requested the ebook. But now let me show you what happens on the back end in terms of what the customer gets in terms of the in in terms of I suppose the email sequence in terms of how they're nurtured through that campaign and how that information is stored in the pipeline in the CRM in a way that you know what is a hot lead and what is not a hot lead so first of all at the moment is for, so actually before that you'll see here that it says warm lead with 30 points so one of the things that 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 we wanted to build into this and another issue that we had it's a good problem to have but there was a time where, where we got to a stage where we had to take on people because simply we weren't actually following we were burning more leads than than that than actually converting them because we weren't really following up with them efficiently. We didn't have really have a, a process in place. And we wanted to be able to really decipher the warm leads from the cold leads. And the only really way to do that is based on user actions. Do they do they click on a link? Do they visit a web page again? Um, are they revisiting um, maybe some of the information that you sent them? And what we've done is we've built in smart super links into this. So basically, we know when people are visiting, revisiting pages, or if they're clicking on links. And what that do is that'll give these a lead score, basically. So you'll be able to decipher the cold leads from the warm leads. And that's a very important thing, especially when your business gets a bit busier, to be able to jump on on a weekly basis and to be able to see which 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 leads are genuinely interest genuinely interested and which leads have have requested the ebook but but they but they're not interested or they haven't even clicked on it or opened it so if i go back now to um let me just go back to this 
Okay, so it's, this is the email that, that that I would get as a customer once I've requested the ebook. So this says now, thank you for for requesting the virtual tour ebook. So there's two, there's there's a couple of setups that we're going to have within this, and the real reason for that is is because um, one thing that we we basically had to build out two separate platforms um, when we started this because there's very different workflows depending on whether you're in the United States or whether you're you're in Europe. Uh, and also whether you're in the United States or whether you're in Europe and Canada, because Europe and Canada have GDPR and uh, the Canadian privacy law. And that means that you can't, you can't, you, you have to actually confirm that people want want what you're actually offering them. Even though they've already put their hand up, it has to be confirmed. So for this setup here, I'm just going to show you how how you, I suppose, this, this aligns with GDPR laws and also Canadian privacy laws. So basically, the first email that they'll get is that they'll be, thank you for requesting the ebook and some information on it. And then just for legal reasons, you need to actually, you need to actually confirm the email. So for, for people in the United States, this won't be, an, this is not a necessity. But there also is, there is pros and cons to this because um, as a, even though it's not a necessity, really it's an option for people because if somebody confirms their email address with you, you'll be guaranteed that you'll never be delivered to spam. So even if you want to really ramp up your marketing and uh, your email broadcasts, and um, for people who have confirmed their email, you can nearly be guaranteed that you're not going to go into their spam or their promotions. We do have things in place such as um, built-in SMTP providers and um, that we will be offering also to, to combat this, but that is just another option also. So if I just confirm my email here now, okay, oh, here's the problem, we need to log out, and then let's click on it again. Okay, perfect. So yeah, so this happened to me actually earlier when I was testing it. I was wondering what it was, but seeing as I'm logged in, logged in as a different email address, it was it was it was taking the wrong one. So you now see that um, your email has been confirmed, um, and so now basically what this what will happen now is that the next step in the funnel will be sent out. So the next one will be I'll receive the ebook. But if I just go back to go back to our dashboard now, um, oh, actually this is the, this this is the new one that. That has that has been set up actually in the meantime, and um, the one that we set up at the start. So you'll see here that's the same as last time. You'll see account summary, um, the quotas, and um, template options. So that's just uh, so okay. So now if I if I reload this page now, let's see. So now at the moment it says warm lead at thirty points and it says unconfirmed. If I reload this page now, the this this data should be automatically updated for this so now i'm now, now this contact comes up as confirmed they go up as a hot lead with 55 points because they put their hand up again and they and they've said that they want they want this ebook um, and it is it is a very good way to be able to confirm which one is which one is hot and which one is not and um, so now let's go back to the email again and hopefully the email the other email has come true Now, download now um, virtual tour ebook. So, as I promised, here's a virtual tour ebook. All you need to do this so download my ebook. So it's actually good for good to get a view of this. Actually, this is one of the eBooks that we have that people can white label, and we can basically share the template with you, and you can you can you can put in your own information. And um, we've been working on this for again, it's 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 it's, it's basic enough, but there is eleven pages in here, and. Um, it is, it is a lot of time, it's focused on, I suppose, the difference of offering a results-oriented solution as opposed to a regular, say, 360 photography solution. And that has always been our selling point and why we always, our selling point for people when they've been, I suppose, coming to us looking for uh, an edge over their customers. And that's what we've built into this. So scroll down here. Let's zoom out a bit here. Solutions. Okay, so now actually, let's show you how this hooks up. So I said to you before that we have a built-in calendar system within this. Um, so now I can actually show you how you can actually 
use this calendar system. So if you, what you can do is say book a demo, and what this will do is this will take us to the calendar page within your platform. So again, we're still working on the design for this. This design will look like look like Calendly within a couple of weeks. And um, it is something that's been worked on at the moment. And we're just waiting for some updates on that. Um, but basically, we are we are working on, I suppose, the layout and, and just make it a bit prettier, basically, in essence. Um, but before I show you this, let's go back over to the CRM again. And let's just reload this again and see what other actions have been taking place now. Okay, so again, hotly with 60 points. So now another another five points have been added on because that I've actually downloaded the ebook. So we do have a lot of, with this platform, there will be a lot running in the background that you probably you don't see. But the whole idea behind that is because you don't need to see it. We're trying to make this as user-friendly as possible and do an awful lot of learning content and tutorials around this so people can run comprehensive sales funnels to their customers and not have to worry about that, but just have to really understand how to manage a CRM effectively, how to decipher what leads need attention, how to decipher what needs need to be nurtured or warmed up, and what leads need to be contacted because they've already put their hand up, but in most CRMs, they don't notice that. So Anastasia says, does this mean I'm saying, let me see what you say, does this mean I'm saying goodbye to my HubSpot <laughs> and CRM? Uh, yeah, well, but that's that's basically what we're trying to do. Like we've been um like we've modeled this on a lot of a lot of the best crm systems and um, seeing exactly what they have to offer um but again we wanted we wanted to we wanted to build something specifically for the virtual experience industry because it is a growing industry but it's also one that we're not looking to leave anytime soon um a lot of the a lot of the like, likes of hubspot likes of click funnels likes of say infusionsoft like those are the, the biggest players in the market but what they what they don't do well is is they provide a very good solution that you have to build and manage yourself basically. But what most people don't provide is a ready to use solution that you can simply plug into, tweak the campaigns to suit your workflow, your business, your ideas, your goals. But having a starting point that is focused towards a particular industry or a niche market will give you a lot of uh, will give you will, will save you months and months of time before before you even started. So. That's what we really wanted to do. We wanted to provide something that, first of all, that people didn't have to pay into and then pay 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 money every month and then I didn't have to build it over a couple of months before they could use it. We wanted to provide something that could be used the day that they used it. And that's really what, we, what we've been aiming to try and do and what we've been able to do with the people that we've set it up on so far. And um, there is there is there is a bit of bit of heavy lifting in terms of setting it up for each of the new customers because we're working on that setup process. And um, but but it is something that is working so far, which is great. So, so if I just go in here also as well, we'll see we'll, within this CRM system as well. You'll see that there's there's uh, the contracts will be here, and um, say let's say we can send emails from here. We can say we can send S, uh, text messages from here. We can hook this up to Twilio, and um, this these SMSs can be sent directly from the platform. But also we can hook it up to an SMTP provider as well to to uh, increase deliverability. And also you can see all of the actions within your customer. So let's just say in general information for the customer, for example, um, they've confirmed it. Um, so we don't have any other information yet. Um, they've taken, so basically it's taken my location. So I didn't put in any in this information. It's taken my IP address and it's, and it's told me exactly where, it, the system's told me exactly where the customer is. And um, source page, so it'll actually tell you exactly where the customer comes in to your to your CRM or your marketing funnel from, and also if they're compliant in terms of in terms of um, in terms of GDPR and all that. So also what we can do in here is we can actually see the next steps for the customers. So let's let's have a look at this now. So basically, within this, I've so me I've signed up to a the sales funnel. Um, through the ebook, through the ebook, I signed up to the to, to the ebook, so I've automatically been added to the sales funnels. So now that sales funnel will be running in the background for the next while. So if if I just go to the sales funnel here and show you exactly how that works, so we have all of these sales funnels pre-built and hooked up to our landing pages, and also we have benchmarks included, so certain actions happen. If users take take certain do do things um, in terms of clicking on links, in terms of uh, uh, show interest in a particular industry or service, we can do particular things with that. But let's just say with the, show you this one. So basically, this is the ebook one. 
So basically what happens is in in this, in 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 this is is that once somebody fills in the web form which is the which is the the ebook funnel the, the, we apply a tag to them. And what that a tag is the ebook tag. So we know exactly who has who's done the e tag. So I'm just showing you this because it's it's this is what happens in the back end but what we're doing is we have a system basically where we can build out these funnels for our customers for the foreseeable future and you can simply import these funnels into your platform so people will like to play around with this and have their own ideas on that but we will be building out these funnels that people can simply import we can we can export it and you can import it then into your own um, as time progresses but well, basically here we have say make them confirm their email and then wait one day ask them to confirm again so basically if somebody doesn't confirm their email they get, get they'll get another email on the second day making them confirm again if i just show you what the email looks like hey first name yesterday you requ requested this here's a confirmation link Again, this is to send out to them. Um, we have we have more advanced kind of email builders than that, but for now we're just keeping for this one. You can make it I suppose, a HTML email. You can actually import your own HTML emails from other systems such as Mailchimp into this system, and um, but also you can make it kind of um, glossy as it is if if you want to also. So let's go back here again. So then basically we can send a lead magnet. So so within this within this we have. Uh, we have a five message nurture sequence with with the, with the two initial messages as well. So there's, there's there's eight messages in the sequence that will run over a three to four week period. Within all of these messages, as well, there's links to your calendar basically. So the whole idea behind that is is that is that a lot of times people will come to the page and they'll they'll want to download the ebook to find out more information because they clicked on the page in the first place because they're curious, but not curious enough to contact you. So once they click on that and they request the ebook, they can they they'll receive the email nurture email sequence focused towards towards this type of service, depending on what they, what ebook they requested. Um, and then our email marketing um, automations in the background will nurture those leads and your calendar links will be hooked up to this basically. So it'll allow them to click and book an appointment with you at, at a later date. So if I just go back here and activate the next level of this sequence, we'll see how that works. So, so you see here the upcoming events. So in two days, basically, there's going to be another email sequence run out so you can see what the next steps are but let's just say run now for this for for this lead and um, so to get the next email so it might take a minute to, to run okay Right now. Let's go back over to email and check it. If you have any questions in the meantime, guys, uh, pop it in the box and I can go through it. We're just waiting for this email. Thankfully, it's been working swimmingly so far. <laughs> uh, Anastasia, how does one implement SEO to this platform? Yeah, so we have we have um, we have a premium SEO plugin built into this um, that you'll have have license for. Um, so we will we will have we will have some I suppose basic SEO data on all the pages. Um, but really, really, it's 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 on a it's on a case to case basis, um, because what we'd usually advise is if you want to use this, particularly for SEO purposes, uh, run it through one of the spin tax tools uh, either yourself or one that we provide, or also. I know Simon. Simon did a Simon on our call here. He did a, a a live video on that. I think the other day. Um, maybe check out his one. Um, in terms of how to do that because they're quick and easy to use and um, to be able to use those ones. Um, and then you can have unique content and your pages will be highly ranked for SEO. There is a little bit of work maybe needed in terms of uh, layout. Um, but we have we do have a setup for that. Do plans for social media integration? Yeah. Well, well, at the moment, at the moment the landing pages everything is hooked up for it to be so basically the landing page that i showed you um a minute ago uh say the real estate one for example you can share that to social media um 
and if you can share that social media, people click through to it. They can contact you. If they contact you on the page, they'll automatically be added to your CRM. If they download the ebook, they'll automatically be added to the sales funnel. If they request more information, they'll automatically be added to maybe another funnel. Whereas we have a lot of funnels running in the background. So really, it depends on the use cases. Also, for, for advertising, Facebook advertising, PPC advertising, the pages can be used in that, again, because there is a contact there that can add them to the CRM as a lead and also the ebook. So you kind of have a two pronged approach within that. So in the emails now, you'll see because I ran the next stage of the funnel, I got this next email. And this is just simply asking me, say, what did you think of the email? And again, once once you set up your new platform, your your all this information will automatically populate for this. Um, have a good one. And then also your business, your business name will automatically populate to the end. So this is all done automatically. But the whole purpose point is, is that if somebody doesn't put their hand up and say that they're interested initially, we have these nurture nurture messages going out to them over a couple of week period that you don't have to be worried about, but it's running in the background. But then what we have then is this is hooked up to your calendar. So if I just go to this calendar page again, and let's book this in and let's show you how this works. So let's say I want to book the sixth, say this time, name. Let's just change this group and let's say real estate book now okay so your appointment has been scheduled thanks for scheduling your appointment demo so now if we go back to the go back to the thing and this, this is where this is where the virtual tour sales accelerator program what we what we initially launched kind of kicks into place how you can actually move people from being a lead, a hot lead, someone who has a booked an appointment to actually closing the deal. So what we do is, and this is optional, but we have been setting this up and it's been working pretty well with people so far, is, is that if I if I if I simply refresh this now, you will see that I will have a tag, I'll be tagged as real estate, and I'll also have a, a, a section here for real estate questions. So here now I have a real estate tag because I booked an appointment and the system all, all automatically recognize my IP address and my email address. So so it knows that th that this person in the CRM is the one who's booked the appointment. And then see that he see here, you see these real estate questionnaire. So basically what this do, what this will do is this will send out these questions to, to, to the client who's booked an appointment. And then what this will do is that is that for people who have already access to this, and we will be given other access for this particular reason within this, is we can go to the virtual tour sales accelerator program here um, and view that documentation. To how to actually use this content that you can collect from the client that they're telling you to actually apply these apply this this content and this information to a specific sales approach so you can actually apply yourself to the sales meeting in the best possible way so we can so we can get a sale and that is one thing that i suppose a lot of people that we found was that it was one of the hardest parts of us that there were a lot of people going to the sales meetings blind and a lot of times they just don't have enough information beforehand but if you have any information we have a particular strategy that you can apply for that situation because no two businesses are different and depending on where they're where they're at, at the moment in terms of their sales their marketing their leads their performance there will be a different different approach for each one of those so if i go back then again to oh, jump around here Okay, so here's this. Here's me as a client saying my appointment was booked. And um, also as well, this hooks up to the same way Calendly does or Acuity. A Zoom link will be included in here. It'll automatically be added to your Google Calendar. And as I said, it's automatically added to the CRM. So I went in through the ebook funnel. But if I wasn't coming in through the ebook funnel, it's automatically added to that also. So I can actually show you that if you'd like. So let's go back and actually have a look at that. Let's say let's say you're actually just having a direct conversation with somebody. Um, let's say change my email address. Let's say fitness or let's say retail, for example. Book now. So you see on back on this page, if we go back into contacts, you see that there's a new contact in here now. So again, it's it's 
it doesn't have to be connected to anything initially. It's the way we want to do it is that you just want it connected to your system, to your platform, no matter where where they're entering from. You don't want to have it in in such a way in that in that they have to enter tr through one avenue to be able to add it to your CRM or to be able to take action. You want everything connected in a way that you know exactly what the next steps are, um, and that the system automatically kicks in once a customer. Um, Books an appointment once they say fill in the questionnaire. Once they request the ebook, you want you want you wanted to have something in place that it, that knows exactly what it's going to do next, and that you don't have to I suppose build that from scratch. So also, if I click into this, you'll see the difference between say a new contact and say an existing contact. So here, say unconfirmed. It's a warm lead of 30 points because they, book, they booked an appointment. Anybody who books in a demo or a sales appointment is going to be a warm lead. Um, and then again, you see the, the information in there. And then you'll see the difference then in this one. Again, we have on so now now I'm actually on fire because <laughs> because I've booked an appointment as well, I think. So that's that's what so 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 you'll see here the difference in that from somebody who's come through your ebook funnel that they've actually requested the ebook, they've they've read your emails, they've clicked on your links. They've booked an appointment through the links within your emails. That once once you have get on a call with this person, like you know that they have to have a genuine interest within that, and that's that's where the lead scoring system comes into place because we found it very useful for our business because it does tell you a lot about a person whether they're whether they're just maybe vaguely interested in it, whether they're curious, or whether this is something that they're seriously looking at as a solution. So now let's show you how this automatically populates there. So if I go back again. As the customer to 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 this, and then this is the first email I got when I booked the appointment. This is the second email that I got. It's like, hey, thanks for booking a call with our team. I'm very excited to show you virtual virtual tour experiences are becoming fast becoming the number one form of media. In order for us to prepare the most relevant examples and information for our call, could you briefly fill in this questionnaire? So one of the things that we always like to, we always recommend that people do that because it if if you're a, if you have if you have answers to questions that you know you can apply two areas where virtual tours can benefit a business most, of course, it's going to get you closer to a sale. So, but one thing that we don't recommend and we found out the hard way was is you don't send a question out, out before they book a call because it might deter them from booking a call. So now let's click on fill in the questionnaire and let's actually fill in this questionnaire and show you how that populates over to the CRM. So I'll say, Tomas Dummer, my company is this, top, um, say, let me see, extra 100 customers. Let's say new main USP. Say I'm um, um, marketing, advertising, uh, Zillow, for example. What are the most innovative sales marketing tools you're currently using? Let's say videos. How many days? On average, let's say ten, and then say floor plans, for example. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's been sent. Okay, so now let's go back over to the CRM and let's let, let, let's see what it looks like when a customer does that. So if we reload this page on this on this contact within the CRM, you'll see that this information should be automatically populated over. So here we have. So this business is filled in this questionnaire. Now before the meeting, you actually have access to all of this information. You know, they've uh, looking for an extra hundred customers. Uh, they're looking for say uh, they're they, they think they're strong in their marketing advertising. Their main lead source is Zillow. Their their sales and marketing tool is videos. Um, how many days on average are on the market? Ten. How many, what, 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 what are you currently using? Floor plans. So all this information is is very powerful because knowledge is power. If like if if, if this if this customer if this customer said that they're getting all their lead sources from a particular area, a different one, or if they say that their average average uh, how many days on average are they on the market? If they're saying a hundred, you know that they're having a problem with their sales approach, and um, it really tells you a lot about it. Because also, if if they if they tell you that they're using floor plans, virtual staging, CGI, but they're not using virtual tours, you know that this is something that's going to be very much aligned with the direction that they've ordered that they're already going in. So now let's. Now let's go on to the. Let me see the. So what else we have in here? So now I have a, now I have 135 points. <laughs> so because I filled in the questionnaire, so I've actually taken a step further, basically. 
Um, as a uh, Anastasia, looking for the looking for the mystery mystery price. Um, yeah, I'll actually I'll touch on that at the end. Um, we're not we're not hundred percent set on our on our pricing as yet, but the good news is Anastasia is all of our pro members have access to the platform um for for a 60 day trial at the moment so just let me know um and we'll set you up with that and um, next week any other pro members on the call we are building our list we will be setting up other members a lot of them probably on free trials as well for the next two months or so and really that is just so we can determine the level of support needed and there will be some bugs with the platform it's a new software platform and um, like like everything else there will be there will be issues with it and um, but Thankfully, as you've seen in the demo today, everything seems to be working swimmingly at the moment. But it's uh, we don't really know once there's a heavier load on our servers and all, uh, what what impacts that's going to have on it, and what ex what other resources we need in terms of uh, in terms of in terms of server resources. So let's actually go to let me see now. So let's we might as well keep going with this customer journey because I think this is probably the best way to show you show you. But now let's say um, that this customer is you've. You've been in contact with them. You had uh, you had a uh, um, you had to call with them. Um, you send them on a proposal, and then 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 they're ready to, they're ready to sign the contract. So we actually have the contracts built into this as well. Um, and what you can do with this, then you can send these directly from this system, and it'll store these within the system and also within the CRM then as well. So if I just go to let's say let's let's just take this url for example copy this url and then let's go back to the contacts again okay so now let's go down to now hopefully this works sometimes there's a because of uh, cookies and cash sometimes the the whole system kind of works on that well not the whole system but some areas of system works on that and that's how everything is working so swimmingly so far is that it, it recognizes the ip address it recognizes the email address and sometimes when i'm using logged in it might be a bit issue with that but hopefully let's try it so basically what i can do here is let's say i can send the let's say contract um Hey, you can put in say first name, for example. Then okay, so send to number at more, so it's automatically uh, picking up who it is, who, it's, who it is. Okay, so another thing in this as well is that you can you can go back then and view everything that's being done here. So within contracts, you'll see that there's no contracts here because it hasn't been signed yet. But I've just sent it out. But within this, you'll see an activity. You'll see exa exactly what has happened with this with this past client as well. You can go down through every single little thing in here. So also another thing that I didn't that I didn't show you was was that when I booked an appointment and I said I'm in the real estate industry. Um, this is automatically added to the sales pipeline. So we'll see here that within this, so all industries pipeline, say, here we go. So qualification, because I've, say, booked an appointment, for example, I'm qualified. Um, also as well as that, this should be, we actually, we're actually just, this is not added in yet, but what this will do is that I, when I sign the ebook. Um, when I signed the ebook, um, I was added as a new contact, and then when I booked an appointment, I was automatically added to here. So we just need to actually uh, make it a move, not a duplicate. So that's that, that we can do that quickly anyway. But if I just click into this, you can add in the value for this customer as well. We can add in, we can actually add in automatic values depending on depending on the industry. If you want to set, I suppose a base value. But here we go. Say potential win, protect the closed gate. So here's tags, ebook address. And then you can enter in notes in here or whatever as well. So this is kind of just a Kanjan board. So basically, you can just drag, the, drag these along um, whenever you are. You can, it'll give you a total of your deals at the top. And also, we have it broken down by industry. So the, the real reason why we've done this is that um, um, we have this system built so to be used by sales teams, not just by individuals. So basically, we can have, for depending on what tier, um, what tier that people are looking at, 
Um, we have set up for a couple of businesses so far that they have maybe three or four sales representatives that they have access to this platform. They have access to their own CRM, their own sales pipeline, and their own, um, say, email capabilities within this. So we have this set up so it can be used by a team. And that is another thing that that why people have, I suppose, were kind of coming to us when we initially started working on this because they were they were they found their costs growing as their team grow as their team started growing uh, adding an extra users the platform is not cheaper and once you do it to one you have to do it to all of them if you have to connect them all so you see in here you see say um so because i put my because i said i was in real estate you'll see it was automatically added to the real estate as well but and this is quite useful if you're if you're a very busy business and you're working in different industries and um, it's, it's very useful you can get an overview of all of your uh all of your um deals but also you can see it breakdown per industry as well so someone says any options for e-sign okay oh yeah let's let's check that now so let me see Contract. So hopefully, let me let me sign it for this. Perfect. So this is this is it. So so basically, with this as well is that the information in this is automatically populated from the CRM into this. So there will be some um, changes with that, but you'll see here that the agreement date and then the date is made between Tomas Dunbar, the client with address of uh, and virtual tour sales service provider address of this. Um, so yeah, so all this information is automatically added into this. So it really depends. Um, what we can do is we have another space we can so we can create, I suppose, a contract per person and then put in, I suppose, the scope of the services and the pricing on it. But we just kept this just generic for now so we can show you this. But then at the end of this, we have, say, e-signature signing capabilities. So you can simply draw in the e-signature in here. And then let's say sign now. Okay, so that, that is signed. So now, if, now what we can do is actually we can print this. So the client can print this, but also this is automatically added to your uh, to your CRM once it's already done. So you see here the service agreement. Again, we can we can change around the template is just this is a generic template, but you see here that it's been signed and e-signatures are legally buying the contracts as well. And it is it, it's it's they're nearly a necessity. Especially for especially for small businesses because small businesses working with small businesses are a lot more likely to get burnt than working with, with larger companies as I found. So it's it is always good to have these things in place to protect yourself also. So now if we go back over to the CRM again, um, and let's go back to the contacts. And let's go back into the so this is this is the person. So let's go under so under contracts. We'll see it should be under the need there now. Okay. Unfortunately, I think the cookies issue has caught me <laughs> first time. Let's let's check it on uh Let's check it on another one. Let's actually log out of this for a second and see if that works. Okay, and now let's do it again. Let's click on it again and hopefully cookies won't get us this time. Okay, so it's actually, it's, I need to be actually let me see. Okay, well, it's it's it, it it is working and it is attaching to the contract. It just seems to be the the good thing is is it's better to test it on two devices. I tested on two devices before this, but I can't show you my mobile. And um, but let's go. Let's actually have a look at it though. Within the contracts, you'll see that it is there. So let me. I can go in this way and show it to you. But um, if you're not doing it on the same device or it's not going to, if you're not logged in on your platform, it, it'll be. It'll be you'll see it attached to the CRM. But if I just go into signed in here in the contract section, you'll see that it's here signed. Let's say generate PDF. Oh, was that good? 
Okay, so here we go, view and print. So here we have it, and at the end you'll see the, the e signature is already in, in here. So it's automatically added to your account. Let's just check in the contracts again. Let me just check wasn't that this one by mistake or this one. Oh, so here we go. So actually, because because I'm signed in as this, you'll see here the tag says contract signed. So if I click into contracts and here I should see it. Yeah, so here we have it. So it's attached to that. So just because I was signed in, it's it automatically added added to my um to my user profile. So you see here the contract. We can click on this and it should bring us in to look at this. So here we go. Sign service agreement contract. This tomorrow Stumbar signed his contract on this date. And then it should be should be in here. Yeah. So update, view, and print, generate invoice, and there we go. Okay, so, oh yeah, so also another thing we have is, we actually have our return on investment calculators built into this. Again, this is to kind of help people get a bit of an advantage when it comes to the sales process, to present, them, to present their business as a solutions oriented provider and not just a 360 photographer. A lot of that, that comes down to the pitch and how you approach the sales process and how you approach the customer. So if we just go into return on investment calculators, where do we have them? Here we go. So we have ones here for say, maybe event venues. So there is another five or six of these that we will be adding in. So bedroom sales, say retail. So these these can be used as standalone, and um, they can also be used in um, um, in sales meetings. People have been using them quite effectively. Actually, when it comes to the appointment, to show them exactly, I suppose, what return on investment they will get if they go with a results oriented solutions or ex virtual experience provider. Um, so we have these for all these industries. Again, this last one will be hidden on the for the customers. But if I say if I'm a say a retail store, say a furniture store, and I do say 200 sales a year, or say, say I do 300 sales a year, and then say my average price per customer is 400, and let's say an estimated increase in conversions by say 7%, so that's, that's an additional revenue of 6,760. And you can offer, you can, you, can, you, can, you can structure your conversation and approach in these ways if you do have the backing of a sales marketing solution. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to, we're trying to not just give you something to attract more customers, but also to be able to move them and nurture them through a sales process so, they'll know, and so you know exactly how to offer it in the most effective way. So again, this is for this. So how many rooms you have in a hotel, for example? It's 200, say, average occupancy, occupancy rate. Usually it's about 85, but at the moment it's probably about 50 or 60, I'd say. But let's just say it was at, say, 85. Um, so what is your marginal upgrade rate per night? And then, say, you can expect, say, 3 to 15% with a solution like this. So let's say, let's say even 2%, for example. That's an, an extra additional revenue of 65, oh, of, say, even 1%. 32,000 a year for hotels. So like it is, a, it can give you massive leverage when it comes to those conversations. But again, you need to know how to implement the content to be able to focus it towards the areas that can get them the results in the first place. But um, hopefully this platform will help you do that as well. And also the kind of more extended access that we're giving people to the virtual tour sales accelerator program as part of this package also as well. So we have these for a number of industries. Here's for, again, this is for say, for wedding venues, for event spaces. Let's say a wedding venue does maybe a hundred a year. Um, extra ten percent, so average price per for for event to be twenty thousand. So I'll give them an extra two hundred thousand per year. Okay, so let me see. So I know that's a bit of information overload for today. Um, so uh, does anybody want to see any area in particular? Have any questions on any of that? Again, we will be doing a lot more, I suppose, in-depth stuff over the coming weeks. Um, actually, let's do this now. Let's go back to the marketing reports and let's show you the difference because of what we've done. So if we go into, say, the reporting side of things now. And let's go to, 
So let's see, new contacts, say email sent, open rate. So these are just because I've been testing it also. This is not just um, today. So let's say, so top converting funnels, for example, ebook showing the sales process for CS. Click through rate, open rate. Let's say um, funnels. So what we can do is let's have a look at the specific um, uh, ebook funnel. So let's say email confirmed, 100%, for example. Um, people actually clicked on it, say abandonment rate, the contacts sent, open rates. So we see an open rate for every one of them. So within this funnel, there's there's only been a couple of sent out now so far because of this. But but basically you'll see you'll see how many were sent, what is the open rate. And again, this is this is this is very powerful because if the open rate is only is is only maybe 20, 30 percent, you'll know that it's probably an issue with either the the subject line or the email or the or the or the or the email, the email line, email line and description. Um if it's uh, if there's a problem with the click to rate. Um, it might be because um, the link might be too too hidden in it. it. Might not be a big button, or it might be because the content is not really, um, I suppose, enticing enough for somebody to to make that call to action. So again, we have built everything into this so that this system tells you all of that. It doesn't have to be something that you need to set up and, and keep track of and check up on. Um, so again, so here's all actually here. Here's the here's the here's the steps in this sales funnel. So basically, we send them on this. We apply the tag to them. We create a deal for them, and um, so these these steps here will be removed for people in the US. Um, it won't be it's really up to yourselves, but we, we, you, it's not really necessary in the US to have this. But for GDPR and uh, Canadian privacy laws, that is the case. Also for I think Australia and New Zealand might be somewhere similar also. And um, so again, then we said we sent the lead magnet. So you'll see how many people go through these these steps. How many people are actually at each at each stage, and how many people are are, are waiting to do this as well. So Anastasia says, can one do bulk emailing? Yeah, absolutely. So um, let's go back to this first of all. Okay. So, oh, also as well. So what we have built in here as well is that, as I was telling you, it, this will tell you. So if there's a low open rate or if there's a low click-through rate, um, we actually have a built-in so that it'll tell you what emails within the funnel need improving. So you don't have to try and decipher that yourself or try and keep on top of that. It'll tell you exactly which ones need more focus. So then if I scroll down, to, or so Anastasia asked for, can one do bulk emailing? Absolutely. So over on the left-hand side here, you see uh, email marketing. So we have, say, emails, which are kind of the generic ones that we have made up for the sales funnels, for, like, say, appointment booked, for someone books an appointment, um, for even just follow-up ones or generic ones that you can use for, say, thanks for filling in the contract, and um, we'll have something with you um, in a day or two. Just, just that sort of thing, basically. We have all templates for them. But if you want to make, say, a new broadcast, what you can do is... Um, Come in here, broadcast. So if you connect it to Twilio, and um, we can say schedule a uh, uh, SMS broadcast, and um, but then we can actually schedule an email broadcast. So please select an email to send. So we can either do this or we can actually create a new one. So again, we can use one of the pre-made ones if we want. So let's say double your conversions with virtual tours. So what we can do is we can send to people with tags, for example. So let's say we want to send it to the cold tags, for example. Let's try to warm them up. Freezing tags. So, okay, and then send on whatever, and we can schedule it for a specific time. And then we can say send now if we want. Okay, let's send now. Okay, and then it has to be sent out. So also for other ones we can do, here just in the emails, what we can do is we can say, these are all the ones we have built in here for some of the areas, but we can add in new ones. So basically what you can do is you can add in a new one, and then we can just, you can add, you can can then you can just select that uh, from, the, from, from, the, from the broadcast editor. 
So again, here's this. So we can say hi, insert replacement. So again, these are all the things we can we can put in here for the for the contact comes from the uh, reply to. Um, again, my email, the admin title, subject line, preview line, and then just create, create, and create, publish, and ready once you're once you're happy with that. So we do have a more kind of a, a fancy uh, email editor as well. It should be ready by next week, where we can where we can do, I suppose, more kind of complex um, email designs with that as well. But usually what we recommend is just the basic um, basic text edit because um, those emails that are kind of nice and flashy and all, if someone hasn't confirmed their email address with you um, and actually accepted, accepted that they want to be, I suppose, marketed to, um, they're going to go into spam. And if that starts happening, you're only going to, I suppose, ruin your own domain. Um, so here's the SEO manager as well. So I won't go through all of that, but um, yeah, I think that's there's there's a lot there. Probably information overload um, for people, but um, I think that was probably the best way to do it. I've taken you through the entire customer sequence from when somebody signs up to an ebook to when they actually to when they actually um, uh, go through your email sequence to when they actually book a call as a result of that to when you actually close the sale using some of our strategies to actually send them the contract and having that contract att attached to their to their to their uh, to them in the CRM. So um, um, I'll stay on for another few minutes if anybody has any questions there and um, just pop them in. Um, in the meantime, I just have a look more for a look through this again. We could segment this by date. Um, Top lead sources, top countries. Um, let's see. Pipelines, so it'll it'll I suppose tell you which 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 pipelines are performing best. That'll also tell you what, what I suppose marketing campaigns are are, uh, are are performing best. So someone says, will there be a real time? Uh, will there be a real-time customer service team? So yeah, so that's what we're that's what we're working on at the moment. So um, like we're still a relatively we're, we're still we're still a small business, um, um, and we're 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 looking to I suppose ramp up uh, our operations again with this offer. Um, it's a it's a I suppose a different different animal <laughs> in terms of the level of support that is needed. Um, people told us we were crazy for for taking this this on really and um, but we have been putting things in place to support people instantly but why we're giving people free trials for the next probably two months so that's that's not just i suppose vtsa pro members vtsa pro members will have priority access to to i suppose the 50 to 100 i suppose accounts that we have for the first two months and um, but the the rest then can be filled by people who are not in that but but why we're doing that is is that there's going to be issues there's going to be problems for the next two months but but thankfully as you've seen today is what we've been working on for the past while it has been working it has been working quite well most things have worked uh surprisingly efficiently on today's live demo and we didn't know how it was going to go and um, so that that's always good to see so it seems that my team has been doing good work and um, in terms of support and um, we we took this approach when we were doing this is because we kind of felt is that if we're giving away free accounts and there's going to be problems with us, people can't really give out to us <laughs> for the next two months. But but just not to be leaving people in the lurch, we will be offering some level of support. But as I said, like it, it we don't really know because we're going to we're going to be taking on probably more support people over the next couple of months, depending on what level of support is needed. And that's just the realist most realistic answer I can get. We'll only determine what support is needed once we know what people need support with and how much I suppose how much is needed in terms of that but what we do have here in here we you'll see here support ticket system is we have we have set up in this and so 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 even we will hopefully be 24 to 48 hours um at the very at the very most um and then also we'll have all of this documentation in here and we're putting all that documentation in there so people will hopefully be able to figure some things out themselves so with a lot of the other CRMs and all that in the market like you don't really have support with real-time support with those people per se they have quite high level documentation and we're trying to do that as well we are going to be offering support that's not saying we're not going to be offering support but we're, we're taking we want to offer kind of the high level documentation the tutorials so people will be able to navigate it we offer support if, if there's problems but but realistically we won't have the time to be offering support in terms of helping people 
build like like find certain areas or fix certain things that are not broken within the platform for the first say maybe maybe two months just when we're just when we're still uh, growing ourselves. Um. So actually, wouldn't wouldn't there's four tickets? I think. Let me see in here. Yes, basically, you can log, people can log in and register with this for this and submit tickets through this and then see their tickets through the system and um, within this as well. So they'll be able to see that. Um, Anastasia said, which email provider can we integra integrate with um, and what about um, social media integration? Um, so, yeah, so in terms of which email provider we can integrate with, so... Um, at the moment, where we do have, we have, we are going to be paying for an SMTP provider for probably a couple of hundred thousand emails a month. It's probably going to be overkill for a long time, but we might just have to set it up that way at the start. So that means that we'll probably, um, we'll probably take control of the deliverability um, issues with that for all of the, the I suppose, the, for all of the platforms. For the for the for the for the time being, but that might only be available with higher plans. But as you've seen today, is that the main issue is when it comes to email providers, is that it really depends on if your own domain is tainted or not. If 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 it your 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 email if, if your domain is going to spam already, like you'll see you see today that all the emails that I was sending out from that I don't have the SMTP provider hooked up to that yet. That they were all just coming from the my email address in in WordPress, and they were all coming through fine. So if you have it set up on a subdomain. Um, um, not a subdirectory, an actual subdomain. Um, it should be no issue that you might not even need the SMTP provider. Um, uh, in terms of social media integration, again, I think we covered that. Um, all of this can be all of these. It can be all shared to social social media. The whole idea about it is is that is that we're trying to put together a kind of an omni-channel approach within this, so that no matter what 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 area you're going after, whether it's a Facebook advertising, whether it's a uh, Instagram posts, whether it's a LinkedIn messaging strategy, that if you're, you can use the same page, everything will be added to your CRM. Everything will 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 interact and work the very same way as you've seen it today. Um, also, as well, I suppose I think it's an, an important probably to mention on this is that really, really what we're looking at is doing as well is that we are going to we are we are we are hooking up at the moment to other external providers such as i don't know if anybody joined us for the last one but we were looking at linkedin automation and um, we were looking at a couple of those things what we can actually do is we can hook up this system so that when when those other outside systems that they are not within our system like such as like cold automation cold cold marketing for example and um, we can pull that information into this system so once they actually put their hand up so so we can we can connect to virtually anything through zapier with this system so that was one of the things that we wanted to do as well as we didn't, we didn't want to be build a standalone system that acted on its own we wanted it to be something that that branched outside that and really really if to think i suppose long term and um and say they're not crazy but really really thinking long term and probably the, the crazy ideas is is that the next kind of logical steps in the virtual tour industry is is API integration within the virtual tours, and we're trying to put ourselves in a prime position so that our system can can probably be that kind of end end provider of all of the information that comes from the virtual tours. That we can actually this could be something. This it's not I suppose it's not out of the realms of possibility that uh, in in the near future that this could that this could be, say, a lead generation system for, for your end users, for the virtual tour users, that they know exactly where their leads are coming from, say, the virtual tours. We can have the sign-up sign up, um, within the virtual tours um, and not just on the landing pages themselves. So really, that's, really that's, that is, I suppose, kind of our long-term vision once the industry gets to there, because at the moment it is getting there, but it's not there yet. Um, an hour and 20 minutes. I think this is the record. I don't think I've ever spoke for this long. <laughs> so if anybody else any questions i'll stay on for another maybe five minutes and then we'll then we'll call it a day i know probably everyone's tired listening to me and um, if anybody else anything else you want to see in particular on this um just let me know and um, also as well for sign up um i had a, we had a sign up page ready but for some reason there was just for some reason i don't think the the sign up is working at the moment so what i'll do is anybody who's interested just please drop a comment um uh, just maybe maybe free trial or something in the comment section and what we'll do is we'll, we'll reach out to you individually um probably probably early next week and um get get everybody set up on that so someone said can the ebook be any link or needs to be a pdf 
Um, well, usually, usually, usually the ebooks are a PDF. But but what we do is that the the PDF is is stored in your platform basically. So it's 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 all stored within that. And as you said, is is we provide we provide the template to the ebook. So basically, all you have to do is is plug in your is plug in your own information in that, plug in your logos, all you need to do really if you want. Um and then and then change the link to your to your calendar link at the end. And then and then what we do then is is you can simply just we 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 will probably probably upload it for you or just show you how to do that. And then it's simply just you plug in that link into the funnel. That's probably the only manual thing you need to do because um well we probably could well well you, we we probably want to have your branding on the ebook. If you want to just use a generic one as it is, probably no need to do it. But again, it won't be linked to your calendar then. Um and people says, and where do we find our login details? Um so at the moment at the moment um at the moment we, we'll send you we'll send you the, the invite link basically. So we'll send you a link um where you can where you can log up to uh, log in or, or sign up through that um and then and then uh, we'll probably do an onboarding call um to go through some of the areas because again we're it is it's only released a couple of weeks so there is some area things that we kind of just need to do when we're setting it up and um and yeah we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch myself or ashley or uh cyrus will be in touch um about about setup um let me see any more questions guys I think I'm going horse I'm talking so much. Okay, perfect. Um, um doesn't seem to be any more com uh, anymore. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me today. We had had a good attendance. Most people stayed on for the long haul as well, and it was a long haul. Um, uh, as I said, we'll be in touch um, over the over the coming coming days, probably early next week. And get people signed up and on it, and then uh, then we can go from there. We'll do probably more in-depth tutorials probably over the next couple of weeks, and um, to show exactly what's involved, um, and then we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, thanks very much, every thanks very much for joining me, guys. Uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, excited to show you uh, what we have in store for you over the coming weeks. Uh, talk to you all later. Oh, sorry. One, one, one last question. Just after I'm saying my goodbyes, will we be monthly price after trial period? Yeah, af absolutely. Look, we'll be we're we're very transparent with our pricing. We have. Um, let me actually show you this. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have probably three three pricing models basically. So there's going to be say we're not set on this okay i'm i'm showing you this because of what people are asking but we're not we're not we're not we're not set on the price and it's not going to be higher than this i'll tell you that but more so we're not we're not set on whether we're just going to have two tiers or three and um, we're thinking about having uh, an extra tier for um for for vtsa pro members uh so they can actually get access to some of our registered trademarks uh and i suppose some of the things that we have coming down the line on an internal basis but um everything that i've showed you today is is, is will, will be accessible um we're we're, we're we're not too sure whether we're just going to do the version we showed you today which is i suppose fully white label it's all your own or have a smooth a smaller tier um where 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 it was probably won't be your own domain it probably have to be on our, on our own um and really this is just for really we need to I suppose charge more for the additional setup uh, for that um so we, we will have we will have i suppose kind of probably quarterly options and yearly options as well and um, for people to jump on and um, so it is more cost affordable for people wanting to go uh longer term um, and also we probably will have another tier um we probably will have another tier of people who want to actually have their website within this for newer businesses or businesses that aren't actually getting much traction to their website at the moment. We can we can bring that their website into this, and there will be probably additional fee for for one of our web designers to build out a new either web strategy website for you or build out your existing website within this system, um, or is it find out for a way to move it over. So yeah, so um, 
Uh, again, we'll send that information to everybody when we're when we're um, when we're sending out the sign up details. So, again, I understand you need to understand the pricing before doing that, but uh, all this will be finalised uh, next week. But again, it won't be higher than this. Um, so that gives you a bit a bit of an idea. So, look, uh, thanks very much, everybody, uh, for joining me today. Uh, second goodbye. But uh, if you have any questions afterwards, just drop drop a message in the comments or on the page, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you all later. Have a good day.